Okay, I have a really good hand here. I tried the I tried the egg version yesterday. I don't know. I I kind of like this one better. Played it a little bit between then. I really like having the bigger cards, like the Alakir, Neptulon, kind of stuff. I I actually wonder if if Doctor Boom. I mean, if uh, if Black Knight is better. Than doc like than big game hunter or something, like what's the best situational card to have here? Harrison Black Knight or, or BJH? I think you can run one. You have some room. I'm actually not above just like killing the egg if I can, like just like, like killing it somehow, but. Right now, it's not the turn, I think. This guy's too threatening. Trades are a lot of all my guys. So what I'm thinking about is killing the egg here. I, I guess I don't need to yet. I could have killed this egg and then rock biter here and trade, but with just one egg on board, it's not really worth flame tongue toteming because it, I mean, it doesn't even trade that well. So seems like a decent lightning storm turn. I don't get the lightning storm anything super good like a flame tongue totem, but I'm also not really overloading. Get to save my rock better. Hmm. Let's just go ahead and lightning storm. I think I've needed to roll either either a uh, spell power. I need to roll like one three. Even if I roll just one three out of like on any one of them. I think. So I think he's playing like Bloodless Egg Shaman. Um, his late game should be really bad compared to mine. I think that's why I don't like it. I have Alec here, Neptune, maybe even Dr. Boom. So as long as I can clear his board, then my big cards will kick in. Most of his his playstyle is like snowballing a minion. As long as I can just keep his board clear. So like if we're both like in top deck mode with with not a lot of cards on each side, minions on each side, it's way better for me. Since I have more individually powerful cards, and his cards rely on snowballing. If I wait one turn, I can just out here off biter it down. At least close enough. Probably will wait one turn. Do I want to kill? Okay, so let me just make a totem. Lower the chances. I want to keep this flame mana tied up. Oh, I don't think that's as important. Oh, nice. Oh, well, those are both. Basically, I, did, I, I do want to clear his board, like Bloodless and Flame Tongue Totem. So, like, by killing Boom Bots, I get to clear the best here. Otherwise, I can, like, go for the Creeper, but I'm not, like, I'm doing a really sloppy clear. I'm pretty much not, not really clearing anything. So I have, to I have to just risk it, my, my guy dying. I'm actually close to lethal, but yeah. I lose my alloc here this, this way, but I get to clear the board. Otherwise I can, um, yeah, let's go ahead and use the alloc here.
Okay. At least I can kill that. That's really big. If he was able to like stick a mana tide and I can't deal with it, that'd be a disaster for me. I'm not actually sure if he has targets, unfortunately, for Black Knight. I actually seen this deck just with the one Feral Spirits as Taunters, and I think he already used it. If he's running a Bloodlust version, maybe no Alakir. Dr. Boom plus the Fire Elementals are his biggest minions. Yeah, no need to rush this. Just in case, because I'm not really winning this game on, on, on the back of these minions anyways. I'm gonna need a top deck, um, like Drake or Big Game Hunter. I mean, Dr. Boom, Neptulon, something like that. So I'm just gonna wait for that and save my Black Knight. Even if he doesn't have targets, it's like, I might as well just, I don't know, wait to play around Lightning Storm or something, at least. Like, there's not a huge reason to play it anyways. I do need it now though. If I don't have it right now, I can't actually beat this Fire Elemental. I'm gonna need to trade this in the Fire Elemental, provided that he doesn't have anything like Wolf plus this. cards before him. Although, yeah, he hasn't had Bloodlust, so... Yeah, it's really my Black Knight. It's getting really useless these games. Yeah, I think with, with two Lightning Storms and two Xs, I have enough spells to use more card draw. I think I just want all the Death Rattle minions that I can against Rogue, really. Mana Tide's actually okay, because it forces them to like spend something to kill it, but it's just, it's just too easy to kill with Deadly Poison, so... I think the best open you can have is uh, something that lets you turn forward Defender of Argus with Death Rattles. Joe Warfare, thanks for subbing. Welcome to the Strife Crew. Here's a Crocus. Alright, well, we got the Manitad here. 
I was wondering if I should put it somewhere else. Because this will... I don't know. It's it's basically for the Flametongue Totem. They'll come on the right. I guess it's okay. I can propagate through this Manti Totem if I really need to. Actually, I think the best is... Yeah, I think that is the best. If I put it on the right, it's it'll never be able to go through the creeper in case I need it. I think I'm saving flame tongue for a little bit better situation. Like right here. Actually. Yeah, Lothab is good enough here. Like, this guy's not too scary with Lothab. I should have put the Lothab on the right. Although, I guess it doesn't matter who killed my totem. This is the ideal positioning because I can put Flame Tongue and Propagate through on the low tab. So my hand is super good right now. Um, I have so much burn with Alakir and Flame Tongue Totem. Okay, so 6, 12, 12 damage. I need to do 10 more damage to kill him before Alakir Rockbiter. It's not quite enough just with Flame Tongue plus this Fire Elemental. It's only 8, but I don't know. I might just go for it. It's very close. Also, if my Flame Tongue survives, like I just play it this turn and doesn't kill, then I easily kill him with the Alakir because I can Flame Tongue the Alakir as well. So yeah, I'm, in the, I'm, I'm at the point where I'm just gone for burst. This is the reason why Shaman is so much better against Rogue than than Paladin because Paladin has to like lock board control the whole time, whereas uh, Shaman you can just like pull wins out instantly. develops my board a little bit. So next turn is 7 mana. I guess I'm saving the Flame Tongue just in case he kills my board. Or he kills the Flame Tongue Totem. If I had a possibility of playing Alakir next turn with Flame Tongue up, that would play it this turn. Oh, that's lethal next turn. 18 damage from Alkir. Pay attention, class. So as long as it doesn't heal or play low, that he's dead. I don't want to hex that guy because it would make a sheep or frog. <laughs> That's a mistake. Grixty, thanks for subbing. Welcome to the Strife crew. He was a crow fist. Oh, okay, so this is um, Handlock, I believe. Lightning Storm is a very light game for Handlock. I played him before. I'm actually keeping Drake, like one of the biggest concerns is I run out of steam against Handlock. I don't think he's gonna fight me for board control early.
want to cycle as deep as I can into my deck for for hexes and our shocks, I guess. No, no, no four draw. It's, it's good for me. <laughs> this is interesting. Three death row minions. It's always confusing how to do this. I guess basically if I am dropping flame tongue, the creeper is the most expendable one. I would probably want to f flame tongue creeper, so I get, give myself more options. Putting in the middle. Also, once it dies in the two one ones in the middle, I can flame tongue those as well. That's thinking a little too far ahead though. Start putting the drakes on the right, I believe. So like the, all the totems on the right. <laughs> I forgot to attack with this guy. Oops. My board is pretty heavy on death rail still. It's not that easy for me to just uh, shadow flame here. Owl, okay. Perfect, okay. So I have exactly 15 damage this turn. Nine plus two rock biters and earth shock with three taunts. So he's dead unless he does something. It's tough though on the low though turn. So he dies a lot of things like he plays Dr. Boom, plays Belcher. A lot of times he's dead. This is good too because uh, it forces him to. Well, I mean, it, it, he survives, but he doesn't get to play it after giants. I'm not attacking with this one because if he's at 14, he can play the giant for four and then shadow flame. I kind of felt like playing Neptulon instead, but then I have to trade something for the 3-3. Three, three. Nine plus six, 15. I'm too off. I guess I'm just gonna play Neptulon here, develop this guy. So what I need to play around is Shadow Flame plus Molten Giant. That's the only way for me to clear really easily. Another way for me to clear is Mountain Giant plus Shadow Flame, but Shadow Flame is 4 mana, it's 5 mana. I can't attack at all if I want to play around that. I almost feel that he has to have a Mountain Giant, he has 2 Mountain Giants. So he could Shadow Flame me anyways. If he, I, I just think he doesn't have the Shadow Flame, so maybe I should just do it anyways. It's just like, if I got him low, it's not about the Shadow Flame actually. Even if he doesn't have Shadow Flame, he can just molten, molten taunt and it'd be hard for me to kill him after, so 